five, four, three, two, one. muted. That's always a good way to start this this fight. Anyway, we saw there was Zeos with a very clutch last second return there as he was out number 3 to 1 on the uh, enemy flag stand. PB actually thought he had that cap. Orange came in, stole the enemy flag out from under him, and then uh, when PB jumped off, Zeos jumped in front of him and just got an up-close kill with rockets, which gives you a, pretty much an auto return. And on this map, when you've got so many tight little quarters like this, it's very difficult to avoid splash damage in a lot of these areas. Not a, there's not a whole lot of really wide open flat rooms to hide in. Um, on the other hand, it gives you a lot of room to play around. It's kind of a big playground for the movement options in this game. Between pistoning, wall dodges, lift jumps, all that good stuff. PB now going to make a run. He's got some cover. He's got some defenders right behind him too, though. There you go. Zeos again with them up close flak shots. An easy return. Orange getting triple team. Nothing really happening there. A quick check on the power-ups. None of them spawning. Let's go back to bases. Um, well, as I was talking to myself for a while, I was saying uh, this map is one of those where, unlike Bleak, which we just saw, you're not going to see a lot of the last second denials and uh, returns and all that. Most of what you're going to see is going to come down to whether you can get the entrances to your base sealed off as your flag carrier is coming in, and whether you can win these little fights and scrums in mid. Because um, this map is reasonably large, it takes a decent amount of time to traverse. So once, once the flag carriers get to mid, you're pretty much going to have one fight uh, that's going to determine whether they get stopped and get returned, or whether they make it all the way back to their base. Um, here you see PB kind of getting behind the defense now. I don't th think they know where he's at, which is good for him because he's down to 35 health. Gonna dance around a bit, maybe try to get some enemy power-ups here, enemy health. Oh, Lemon coming after him with some goo. It's going to go through that shield if he gets him. Oh, he gets LG'd from behind. Not as not as dramatic as a goo kill, but just as effective. Go check on these power-ups, see if anything's, anything's spawning. It's like no and no. The other teams seem to have them timed pretty effectively. Blue base now getting a little bit of pressure coming in. Red kind of dancing around their, their front area. PB now distracting the D. Gets headshot from behind by Zeos. That erases that very quickly. Jim coming in now. Cafe with 22 health. He's not going to get anywhere. Zeos down in a killing spree. Let's see where Red Flag Carrier is. Or excuse me, Red Flag is. There you go. Coming back into his base, but Red is just waiting for him. And this is the scrum that we scrum that we talked about in mid where. You can win that fight, Whoever, whichever team has one man left alive, that's going to be the difference between getting the return and keeping the flag run alive. And on a map like this, the defense isn't going to be able to catch up with you again until you get back to your own base. So you pretty much only need to get one or two kills on the defense to get at least into a, into a flag standoff situation. Uh, blue flag looking empty, red base looking empty too. Maybe the power-ups are spawning? Doesn't look like it. Let's head over to blue base and see what's going on. Oh, it looks like blue defense got a little antsy. Ah, oh, there we go. Zeos came out to get that amp. That's bad news for the uh, for the red attackers. Looks like he had that amp and was pushing forward with a little bit, trying to put some pressure on the enemy uh, enemy defense. Sonic now out through minigun. Got, has a little bit of cover. They're able to push their way out. Neither of them have much health though, but a nice nice double kill there from the cover. Pissing in the mid, coming in high, pissing back into his base. He's got the D's. Got Zeos pushed out to cover him. Coming in his shock. It's pretty well protected, but it is a Easy route to predict, but nobody cuts him off there. And as you saw, a good cut off by Blue there. Red wasn't even able to get into Blue base to do any sort of cutting off or emergency grabs. And that's what you're going to see in this map. Is uh, the battle's pretty much won by that point most of the time. Blue flag not going anywhere. Check on the power ups real quick. Nothing spawning. Head back to the flags. Let's see if, if uh, 
Red flag gets grabbed now. Blue's already up 1-0. See if they can extend that lead. Post with the grab. Nice time combo by Chicken, though. Gonna take him down pretty low. He doesn't have any shield left. Stuck in a corner, but he does get that kill. He's still dancing around, though. Not going anywhere in particular. Maybe waiting for some cover to catch up with him. Checks 50. That's gone. He's going to go out minigun side. Well protected from line of sight, but it's a long route, so he's going to have a, all the red defense uh, cutting him off soon enough. Trying to piss it up high. Misses it. Going to take this low route. Jump pad back up high, pretty much by himself. I don't think Red Defense has seen him, but I'm pretty sure Red's going to be in front of him to cut him off. He can anticipate a big fight in his own base. Comes in his 50. Um, and that doesn't happen. A wide open path. There you go. Blue with another run to the flag. Pretty much untouched goal, uh, coast to coast there. Red Defense had never had a clue where he went. But that's another thing you'll see as a difference between Bleak and this map is. From all the major entrances to your base, you have a clear line of sight straight to the flag stand, which means that there's a few different sort of piston wall dodge combo moves that you can make to get, to, to get back to your flag stand very quickly in for a cap, as opposed to, say, Bleak, where we just saw where it's very difficult to go from entering your base to the flag stand. See Red now just killing their way across mid. Um, of course, their flag is gone, but their cover doing a good job of helping secure this flag, getting it across. At least now they can secure the standoff. And, uh, give, oh, wow, maybe not. As Blue getting a little uh, a little cheeky, as they would say. Hanging out in Blue base with the flag. Getting that return there. Let's see where their flag's going now. Next, pretty weak in mid, but all the defense looks like they're behind him. So he's going to pick up this health, and he will be able to piss it into his base. But Banks is going to get him down up close and get that return. TB, Blue flag, jumping off. You can see what's going on. Trying to be a little, try a little uh, triggeration of his own here. And sometimes what you'll see on a map that's kind of large like this is if you delay and the defense doesn't see you, they'll all charge in front of you and get get into your base, trying to cut you off. And like you just saw in that last cap by Danny, it's a very easy trek across mid uh, when there's no defenders on you. It's exactly what we're seeing now. Defense has no idea where he is, so he's just going to walk untouched all the way across the base. Uh, the defense hasn't even survive long enough to cut him off. There you go. Zio's coming in. Nice combo. He's down to 26 health, though. He's not going to do much with that. TB now three cover on him. Ah, oh, they knew they were going to get that return. They timed it perfectly, and there you go. Red now uh, with a chance to come back. I mean, it's only 2-1, to one, not even the halfway point of this map. You know, we may see we may see that both teams' defenders are being a little aggressive here as far as jumping ahead to try to cut off enemy flag carriers, not knowing where they're going. They just presume that they're going to be in front of them, and... Uh, We've already seen back-to-back -back caps where the, the uh, flag carriers run across untouched behind the defenders. May see that tactic um, used in the future some more. I mean, you know what they always say, I mean, make them stop it, or, yeah, make them prove they can stop it. Uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, they should just keep trying the same thing over and over. Blue attackers now coming in one at a time, getting erased pretty quickly. This isn't a bad map for uh, revolving door offense, cherry picking, chain cap, or chain grabbing, whatever you want to call it where you just grab over and over and try to catch the D out of position. Uh, because it's reasonably wide, the different paths are kind of out of the way. Uh, you're at least pushing the defense out to mid, which is a little out of the way. Pulse now, amp run getting stopped by Cafe. Flag going back. If they had had that amp along with the other two attackers, though, I think they would have gotten a lot further. PB now, Poison Bagels, running out running out on his goo, not getting very far. Cafe's going to try to get that, get that pick up there, but he's got two defenders staring him down in the face. Not going to do much there. Power up check, they're all gone. See if this blue flag gets taken again. If they want to tie this game up, Red's going to need to put a little more pressure on it. I'm sure they'd rather tie it up sooner than later, although we're still not even to the halfway point here. Pretty even match again so far. As we see this uh, mostly European team on blue versus this uh, no North American team on red. Not entirely split that way, but you got three Euros on blue, so you're seeing a little bit different play style. Nice combo coming in there. Jim going to get the return. Jim, that is Cafe. Zio's going to try to telefrag him. He had a lot of telefrags uh, the other day in Pugs. Trying to get some more there. Not quite not quite working. Go back to the old shock shock and awe routine there and get the return. DB now dancing. It looks like he did the same thing again. Delayed a little bit. Blue had no idea where he was. Now he's back. Oh, wow. Zio's with a double kill with rockets. Falling down the lift to get that return. Check on red flag now. Pulse. Not really any cover. Uh, there you go. Orange coming in from behind with Amp. Changed my mind. Got an enemy 50. Still pretty low on health. Seeing if he can double back to not get cut off by the defense. 
Well, he's got some cover, but they're all really low health. Sonic coming up there, he got 77 health. Maximus with the cutoff. He goes down. All three focusing their fire very effectively. Double kill by, by Pulse coming in. Not much health still, though, so if there's anyone there to cut him off, he's going to go down. He does have a chance to piston, though. No, now he's down to 12 health. If he would have pissed, he would have died, but... Saw Blue seal that base again really effectively, so Red didn't even have a chance to try to sneak in and get an emergency grab there. See if Red now tries to get a rebound cap. Blue's all in their base on their heels, so if Red can get this flag out, they'll be in front of the defense. Biggles trying to do just that, but he does have Blue all over him. No real cover. And from what I'm seeing, Blue is just outnumbering Red at every turn right now. Um, looks like they're winning the... They're definitely winning the, the frag battle just based on who's, who's killing and who's dying. And I think that's making the difference so far. Um, when you've got three on two, three on one situations, you're going to tend to win those fights. Let's see what we've got on power ups. I'm not seeing them spawn. Go back to the blue flag over here. PB's grabbing it. Has a little bit of armor. He's going to double back on the D here. I don't think they saw him do that. Nice little quick juke there. There they go. They're, they're on him now. Ooh, wow. Zeos with one kill. Zeos with two kills. However, PB able to get back in front of him. He's got some people cutting him off. He's going to need some cover. Going back low, switching up, just trying to put some, some distance between him and Blue. Blue is dropping back, and they're all over him. They're going to get that return. Red there needed to push their defense out to help uh, help with that fight in front of their base. They weren't prepared for it, though. Pulse grabbing. A um, little bit of armor. A little bit of health. A little bit of cover. Not the most promising flag run of the day, though. Uh, down to 58 health. Still in front of Blue base. Goes down. They do get a pickup. He goes down instantly, though. Blue flag also not getting very far. Cafe, however, is going to get a grab here. 80 health. Going to get into a fight with Zeos here. He's got a little bit of armor left. Going to go down pretty quickly here, though, especially with those rock. Nice trip rocks by Zeos right in the face. Let's see if red flag's going to get any pressure put on it. Doesn't look like it. Let's go check on the blue flag. Actually drops it right into the stand. Sonic, 2 on 1 in the base. Not going to go very far. We're seeing a lot of these uh, 1 and 2 man grabs going on, and you're not going to get very far on this map like that. Everybody checking on power-ups. Doesn't seem to be up. There you go. Maximus just took the 100. Let's see what he can do with it. He's got two on him already, but he's in front of the D a little bit. If he can get a little cover in mid, they should be able to seal off behind him. He's out in mid, pissing across. Oh, and Pulse drops back to shoot him in the back. So what we're seeing, um, kind of what you expect from a team with a little more European sort of influence. Um, once you get the flag out to mid, they're going to drop back and, and secure their flag before necessarily going on full attack mode again. So the way to counter that is to have your defense push up, and Red hasn't really been doing that though. Uh, keeping their 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 uh, their defense both in base, guarding that flag. And to his credit, guys like Pulse have been cognizant of that and have been uh, keeping the pressure on them when they're coming in with their flag. You know, yeah, when they're coming in with their flag, Danny's been pushing up and grabbing that flag off the stick to make sure that the defense stays honest. In other words, rather than letting them cheat out to mid. Maximus now 18 health. He's dancing around his own base. Doesn't have anyone for a pickup, though, so that's going to be an easy return. Danny, a.k.a. Pulse, uh, running around. He's got it. He's in a position now. He can piss into his flag if it gets returned. It does get returned. They don't get the last second grab, and there you go. Like I talked about earlier, when you can see your flag stand from every entrance to your base, it gives you a good chance to piss in straight to it. Very difficult to outrun an enemy flag carrier to their stand. Unlike unlike the last map, Bleak, where you can almost always translocate to the flag faster than you can piston. Opposite on this map. Once they get into that position, they can pretty much beat you to it every time. So you see Chicken and B-Banks playing fairly standard. Um, Chicken basically go in the, the shot corner over there. B-Banks actually playing on the flag. I would like to see him push up a little more. Maybe take, uh, take some... There you go. Right up where he wants to be up there by the minigun flak area. That would allow him to push up out that right exit and go out to mid a little more whenever uh, whenever blue drops back to stop the red flag carriers from coming into their base. One on one here with red flag. Pulse coming in though. Kill him and get another grab in. Um, looks like they pushed out chicken to mid which not a bad idea. Whoa! Goo shot right over the head of Pulse. Almost got him there. Got his shield up going across mid. He's got a little bit of cover but he's got some red all over him. Gonna get a pick up here by orange. One health, though. Picks up a uh, 25. He's still going to go down pretty quickly. However, there's plenty of blue here to get the return, or to get the pickup, rather. Meanwhile, none of the blue were uh, ready for the return, so Maximus now pretty much by himself across mid. Zeos now on him. Nice headshot right there. Maximus going to get down to his own base, and we're going to see a flag stand off here. 
crucial flag sent off for red here. There's five minutes left. They absolutely need to win this one. <clears throat> so, of course, now you have to decide. Do you, do you push an extra man forward? I think you do when you're down three with uh, this little time left. Um, you almost want to have Maximus hide somewhere and just push four in return and then have everyone suicide back to base and just fight over the flag again. Right now, they're opting to do a standard flag standoff situation. you got two cover. And your flag carrier just waiting on the stick to get that return. If they do get this return, it will be a pretty easy instant cap. However, time is ticking. Blue doesn't actually need to get this return. They just need to survive because every moment that they have the enemy flag is a moment that they can't cap. And as you can see, they're not even really trying to get a cap here. See what they're doing is they're hiding Pulse in mid, and he's just, uh, just waiting it out, really. He knows he doesn't have to get any more caps. He just has to survive. Running out the clock, as it were. There he goes. Prince is right back into his own base, and once you win that fight, it's pretty much going to do it right there. Four caps in four minutes is not impossible on this map, um, but the way things are going just doesn't look like it's going to happen, um, but we'll see. Right about now is whenever Red might want to push an extra attacker, and what you're going to want to do is stick one guy just on the flag to just try to do whatever he can to fight off the attackers. Push another man forward, try to get that blue flag moving as much as possible, because no, any second that that blue flag isn't moving towards Red's base is a second that Red is losing. And uh, really need to keep that pushing. The blue flag is moving right now, but they have three defenders on it. You can expect blue to be pushing back a lot more, although right now they do have two on attack right now. So Orange is just going to kind of dance around. Again, he knows he doesn't need to get another cap this game. He's already done, he's already done his job in that regard. Now his job switches over into uh, lead preservation, running out the clock. Victory formation, if you will, as it jumps right into that goo, not really helping formate the victory very well there. There you go, see a return on red. Um, not going to make a difference at this point. Three minutes, you're pretty much at the point of mathematical impossibility. Uh, red now just sort of playing for pride. Uh, we'll see We'll see what PB can do with this. We well, can get flacked in the face is what he can do. None of the power-ups up. Maximus with the grab, not going anywhere. Uh, I appear to have hiccuped again with my, my network or something. Anyway, so we're back to it. Uh, you're fighting over blue flag. PB now going to see what he can do with it. He's got a little bit of cover here, but uh, again, they're running pretty much out of time. See if he can get out high. He's got the defense behind him, so if he can make a couple pistons, but doesn't get a chance to as a nice LG comes in. Sonic now with the, with the 100 armor. Going into his own base. If they can get this return, this will be another easy cap. Pretty much just the icing cap at this point. There it goes. Gets returned. And an easy cap. Uh, that will do it. Let's go ahead and check out some of the... Uh, Scoreboards here. See if we can find uh, find out what happened this map. Maybe check out the pickups. My suspicion is that blue has been getting a lot of the pickups, but we'll see about that. Couple double damages and a hundred for PB. One and one for Zeos. DD is in a hundred for Pulse. So they're pretty spread out so far. No, I'm actually kind of surprised. It looks like uh, we didn't see a lot of players. Back. Oh, there we go. Who had the 1300s? That's what we're looking for right there. There you go. Orange over here with six six amps and 1300s. He pretty much got as as many of those uh, power up pickups as the rest of the game combined. And um, no, it. it kind of shows on the scoreboard, frankly. Whenever you've got a double damage covering you, you've got a basically double the health on, on you know running the flag. It's going to make a big difference, and that, and it's a sort of it's sort of a double edged sword. Not only are you helping yourself by giving you know your your offense more armor, uh, more more damage output, and all of that, you're also denying the other team and making it that making it that much harder to form any kind of comeback. Um, really, on a map like this, controlling the amp especially is really important. And making some good runs if you're going to try to try to make a comeback quickly. Uh, Red wasn't able to do that. Blue, especially orange, really keeping those under wraps. And once again, we see the importance of power-up control in capture the flag, especially when the power-ups are pretty much all concentrated in mid. And you're really uh, you're really playing three-on-three -three team deathmatch there to try to see who can control the map. And really, I think that's what it came down to. I don't think the in defense uh, was hugely. I don't think there was a huge disparity in effectiveness going one way or the other. I think Blue did a good job of relaying and sort of uh, running together on this map. Um, despite their chain grabbing, what they did is they would meet up with each other in mid. 
and fought as a group through mid, and they usually fought with power-ups through mid, and I think that's really what the big difference was here. So as you see, 7-1, a few of these caps were sort of garbage time, um, but really they, they were ahead, they were front-running the whole game here. See if we can get, get, get a good uh, dramatic shot of people jumping around in their flag stand here in celebration. Pretty happy about that victory. It was well played uh, all around by the blue team.